Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, December the 17th, 2013. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Coffee County Independent. In tonight's news, former Tullahoma Fire Chief C.B. Watkins passed away Sunday. The Tennessee Department of Health has announced the lifting of suspensions at, of admissions at Winchester Center and 2014 is shaping up to be one of the busiest testing years at AEDC in some time. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everyone, and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. 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 From our family to your family. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. To rid yourself of body pain, stiffness, and stress while increasing circulation, visit the Balance Spa in Shelbyville at 731 North Main Street. Or have them visit you at your office for a chair massage. Simon Cow and Maria Keys Gammon give a professional full body foot or chair massage that makes you feel like new. Call owner Linda Hackle Brown at 931-639-4885 to set your appointment today. With over 30 years experience servicing the Tullahoma area, Mike's Tire Brake and Muffler has become a household name in Middle Tennessee. As a family owned business, Mike and his wife Lisa, along with their sons Jamie, Justin and Jody, have assembled a crew that delivers quality service to go with quality products. As the only authorized Michelin and Goodyear dealer in Tullahoma, they have become the tire store of choice, being named the tire and brake store of the year multiple times. They also rent Penske trucks and are an interstate battery dealer. So if you need tires, brakes, mufflers, a battery, or maybe rent a truck, go to the place you can trust. Call Mike's Tire Brake and Muffler at 931-455-5150. Located at 732 North Jackson in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Are you a shoeanista with no place local to find your style? Well, now you don't have to travel any further than Bren's Shoe Boutique. Located at the Village on Jackson, 1940 North Jackson Street, Suite 120 in Tullahoma. From funky to formal, you can find the fit and style that will make you smile at Bren's. A shoeanista herself, owner Brenda Kemp offers brands like Rocket Dog, Jessica Simpson, Mia, Nine West, J. Renee, Bandolino, and more. Want that accessory splash that none of your friends have? Brins offers a selection of one-of-a-kind handbags and jewelry with just the right bling. So if your shoe selection doesn't stack up, find what you've been looking for at a price you can afford at Brins Shoe Boutique, now open in Tullahoma. Welcome back. Former Tullahoma Fire Chief C.B. Watkins passed away Sunday, December 15th at his residence in Tullahoma. He was 74 years old. C.B. was born January 8th, 1939 in Mulberry, Tennessee. He is survived by his wife of 52 years, Barbara Jean Hall Watkins of Tullahoma, daughter Darlene Buckner, son Frank Watkins, and several grandchildren and great-grandchildren. In 1959, he was hired by the city of Tullahoma as a police officer and graduated from the Tennessee Law Enforcement Academy. Academy. He later became a fireman. During his 48 and a half years with the city, he held the position of the first building inspector and fire inspector. In 1975, he became the fire chief, a position he held until his retirement. Funeral services were held today at the Kilgore Funeral Home Chapel with Reverend Martin, Marty Nutter and Vicar Brandon Carlone officiating. Chief Watkins was buried at Oakwood Cemetery in Tullahoma with members of the Tullahoma Fire Department Honor Guards serving as pallbearers. In lieu of flowers, Watkins requested memorials be directed to the uh, Tullahoma Fire Department Toys for Tots program or to Faith Lutheran Church of Tullahoma. 
The Tennessee Department of Health has announced the, the suspension of admissions at Winchester Center have been lifted. The facility is an 80-bed licensed nursing home unit lo located at 32 Memorial Drive in Winchester. The department confirmed that the facility has returned to uh, substantial compliance for state licensing, licensing purposes. The federal conditions of participation that led to the immediate jeopardy citations have been corrected as stated in the facility's approved plan of correction, which was approved by federal and state authorities. On November 18th, the nursing home was ordered not to admit any new residents based on conditions found during a complaint investigation and an annual survey conducted September 23rd through November 7th, 2013. During the inspection, invest, uh, surf, so rather surveyors found violations of several standards, including administration performance, improvement physician services, and nursing services. Tullowa High School was placed on lockdown last Friday. At approximately 9.04 a.m. on Friday, the school resource officer at the Tullahoma High School was notified by the Coffee County Communication Center that a call had been received alleging a firearm was in a classroom at the high school. The caller used a cellular phone to notify the communication center of the alleged incident. The SRO immediately notified school administration and the school was placed on lockdown. The SRO went to the vicinity of the class Room and awaited the arrival of plain clothes officers. The student whose cell phone was used to make the phone call was removed from the classroom by a school administration and interviewed by the school resource officer. No firearm was located or believed to be involved. The school was promptly removed from lockdown status and daily activities continued. In the course of the investigation, it was learned the student owning the cell phone had let another student use the phone. It is the other student, a ninth grade girl, that placed the call to the community. Communication Center. A juvenile petition has been issued to the girl alleging misuse of 9-11 and filing a false police report. 2014 is shaping up to be one of the busiest testing years AEDC has seen in some time. AEDC Director of Test Operations Colonel Patrick Tom expects this year to be a challenging year with work across all the business areas including a 50% overall increase in testing and a 25% increase in technology workload. Colonel Patrick said, quote, we have engines pinned in six test cells for the first time in eight years to include engine support of the Department of Defense Priority F-22 and F-35 fighters, end quote. Colonel Patrick also said that the engine test facility, ETF Propulsion Wind Tunnel Facility, and the Von Crime and Gas Dynamics Facility are running concurrently for the first time in more than six years. PWT is converted uh, three shifts of operations running 24-7. On top of that, ATA is hiring up to 70 people to help the increased testing tempo, and many Air Force civilians are becoming hands-on testers at, for the first time at AEDC. In 2013, AEDC successfully provided test and evaluation for 39 programs and to advance national capabilities in the crucial areas of aerodynamics, propulsion, space, and missiles. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Russell Barnett Automotive family. We want to thank you for allowing us to be a part of your family for over 30 years. We want to wish you and your family from our family, the Russell Barnett Automotive family, a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stop by any of our locations, Russell Barnett Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Chevrolet GMC in Ford of Winchester, and Russell Barnett Ford and Kia of Tullahoma. My question is, why buy anywhere else? Looking for that special, unique holiday gift? Not to worry. Christie's Gifts at Merle Norman in Northgate Mall, Tullahoma has everything you need. From sports logo items, scarves, tops and wraps to children's items. With too many brands to name, a few are Spartina and other designer handbags, Glory House picture frames, Lang calendars, Lily Pulitzer, Boku charm jewelry, Sparkle make your own necklace, Mariana handcrafted jewelry from Ireland, and interchangeable jewelry from Chameleon, Ginger Snaps, and Lottie Dottie. Children's educational toys by Melissa and Doug, Mud Pie Baby Gifts, and the always favorite Hello Kitty. All these and much, much more. To find the exceptional gift you want to give, do what Santa does. Visit Christie's Gifts at Merle Norman in Northgate Mall, Tullahoma. We'd like to take this time to wish everybody a happy, joyful, and blessed Christmas. We'd also like to thank them for their support this previous year. Your comfort is what we do. 
Merry Christmas! Stroops is also a proud sponsor of the Frank Mullins Football League. We'd like to also take this time to congratulate the Falcons cheerleaders for their second consecutive first place finish and also the Falcons football team for their first place finish in the 2013 season. If you like HDTV, you're going to like what Charter's been up to. Adding so much free HD that Charter TV is a whole new experience. National Geographic HD, Animal Planet HD, Discovery HD, Sports in HD, Movies, News, Kids Programming. Plus, Charter now has thousands of free movies and shows in HD on demand anytime. You want to see more TV in HD? Try Charter. It's smarter. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. Tonight we have more from last week's Old Town Christmas Stroll. Let's watch this performance from the Peggy Burton Singers. And we'll be right back after these messages. When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick market where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. Stop by any Quick Mart today and not only save time, but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. 
Looking for a unique gift for someone special, or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel, and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and signed sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. If you're looking for fuel, food, or fun, don't forget the Dameron Brothers stores. The Short Stop has fuel, food, and beverages. The Breeze Inn Market has party supplies, beverages, and the area's best selection of premium cigars. The Liquor Locker carries all of your favorite brands of wines and spirits. So for all your party needs, Jeff and Jay say, come on by, and thank you for the support of our businesses. Welcome back. We have more from the Downtown Lions Club annual Christmas concert. Let's watch as the group performs Mary Did You Know.
Don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include an interview with uh, comedian Harry Cho, who will be performing at South Jackson Civic Center on Thursday night. Pat Crosland from the Good Samaritan will stop by and tell us how you can help those in the area who are less fortunate. And local musician Don Jones will strum some Christmas carols for us. All that and more on this week's Living. And we'll be right back in just a moment with more News Leader on 6. A job is not just a job in this type of business. It's just a joy to know that the staff is there for my parents. There's love in that building, and you can feel that love. It's a wonderful feeling to know that they're well taken care of, and it is my home. It's my second family. I keep saying I'm going to retire, <laughs> and I can't leave this home. Life Care Centers of America. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please for the following public service announcement. He's back. The Watkins man is back, bringing his world famous Watkins products to 104 East Lauderdale Street in Tullahoma, where Richard and Stephanie Carpenter have opened the area's only Watkins store. Since 1886, Watkins has produced all natural products, starting with the pain liniment and now including soaps, oils, creams, scrubs, royal jelly, beeswax, supplements dedicated to natural health and pain management, cover total external and internal body care. And don't forget the world famous spices, extracts, teas and cooking ingredients with too many products to list know that all Watkins products are 100% natural using the highest quality ingredients obtainable always remember with Watkins when you buy the best you use less Welcome back. The State Attorney General published an opinion last week regarding local government's ability to regulate the sale of drugs using the manufacture of methamphetamine. TNReports.com spoke with Lieutenant Governor Ron Ramsey about the issue. Yeah, the pseudoephedrine prescriptions. Uh, states like uh, Oregon, which has uh, instituted a prescription-only pseudoephedrine policy, have seen a rise in cartel-produced um, methamphetamine, but no real significant drop in uh, meth use that was that what didn't follow the nationwide trend. Um, is that a uh, acceptable uh, alternative? Well, no, it's not acceptable at all. I, I didn't even realize that. I don't know. No. And I've got a couple of other things that too. Yeah, that's an acceptable alternative. That's a great welcome cartel to be involved in. That because of course it's not acceptable. But, uh, <laughs> so, but I didn't know that. Usually what we do at Tennessee is not bottled after Oregon. But, uh, <laughs> but at the same time, I don't know. You know, I, I know anytime you, you make anything illegal all the way back to prohibition, a, a certain amount of it goes underground, that's just probably got to deal with. But at the same time, when we got these Smurfers and these other people going around with meth, and they, 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 we honestly think this addresses the problem, but you can argue the other side. Okay, so we're gonna make it prescription. So therefore, I guess you say we don't have prescription drug problem. Well, yeah, we do. So you got a prescription drug problem, you're gonna make this prescription, does that solve the problem? Probably not. And that's the reason I've been going back and forth on this. But I'm gonna tell you, law enforcement, everybody says it needs to be, it needs to be, uh, it needs to be just a prescription. Again, I am just shocked by the poll that says 65% of the people think that needs to be done. That just shows where people are. So, mm -hmm. so obviously, we, we don't want to drive it underground, but I'd be a little bit facetious there. We don't want to drive it underground, but at the same time, you've got to do something, everything you can. Yeah. There, 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 I think there's two, let me say, Eric, there's two basic things that just cause a lot of our, the majority of our problem in this country. Number one is the breakdown of the family, and I believe that. When you've got like 87% of African-American babies been all born outside wedlock and after World War II it was 6% and now half percent overall. That, that is a major problem, that, that there's no dad in the house. That may be the problem. And that really causes the second problem or, or feeds into it. But the whole drug, methamphetamine, prescription, it, it is getting worse by the day. When I have employers in Northeast Tennessee try to hire 50 people and 35 of them can't pass a drug test, even though they tell you, by the way, next Friday you're having a drug test. I just, I, that just blows my mind. And on the meth lines, there's of course been efforts on the local level the governments to, to create uh, mm -hmm. rules about prescriptions. Others at the AG recently said they can't do that. Right. Uh, what's your read on that? Obviously, local governments dealing with their own issues. You know, they like do, but, but there are, I agree with her in general on that. They, they keep in mind the, lo the local governments are subdivisions of the state government. They, they wouldn't exist without us. 
and there's only certain things that can be done by ordinance and other things that need to be done by state law, by statute. And I, I can see why something as restrictive, I don't like to read the opinion, or something as onerous as telling your citizens that they have to get a prescription or something, is something that needs done by statute, not ordinance. And we'll be right back with your weather forecast after these messages. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Russell Barnett Automotive family. We want to thank you for allowing us to be a part of your family for over 30 years. We want to wish you and your family from our family, the Russell Barnett Automotive family, a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stop by any of our locations, Russell Barnett Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Chevrolet GMC in Ford of Winchester, and Russell Barnett Ford in Kia of Tullahoma. My question is, why buy anywhere else? Welcome back. We'll have a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1933 at 72 degrees. The record low was in 1972 at 10 degrees. The average high on this day is 50, and the average low is 30. For tonight, look for cloudy weather with a low of around 28. Sunny weather in your forecast for Wednesday with a high of 51 and a low of 32. Partly cloudy weather expected for Thursday with a high of 58 and a low of 45. And that's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great night.